Hi, my name is Jeff Mullen. I'm pastor of Point of Grace Church uh, here in Waukee, Iowa. And as you probably already know, our freedoms uh, here in Iowa are in peril today because of judges. Not legislators, but judges. Prayer was removed from the public schools and the church was asleep. California passed a proposition, uh, Proposition 8, with a majority of people voting that marriage is between one man and one woman. Then a judge struck it down, and now judges are out of control here in Iowa. Last April, the Iowa Supreme Court struck down our 1998 Defense of Marriage Act and declared same-sex marriage is legal in our state. Over 160 years of Iowa law was thrown out the window, not by a vote of the people or a vote of the legislature, but by seven rogue judges. They cited as their reasoning that uh, they found rights in our Constitution that were at one time unimagined. Basically, they felt like changing the Constitution, changing our law. Well, while I support traditional marriage, that's not the real issue here. It's judges changing our laws. If the courts can change our laws concerning marriage, all Iowans' rights are in jeopardy. What happens, what happens if the court decides to redefine our property rights or parental rights? Or what prevents the court from redefining what you say from your pulpit as you preach about biblical standards? Now, it may not seem possible, but who would have ever thought that same-sex marriage would be legal in the state of Iowa? It, it never would have happened through the legislature or the ballot, and it should not have happened through the courts. Our legislators wisely gave us a check and balance. You gotta hear this. It's called a retention election. A retention election to deal with situations such as an out of control Supreme Court after judges have been appointed for eight years, they are back on the ballot so that we, the people, can decide if they stay or if they go. First, uh, you have to turn your ballot over to vote for the retention issue. If you're displeased, vote no, and these judges will be removed from the bench. If you agree with the judges, vote yes, and they will retain their positions. Now we're putting together a coalition of pastors that will stand for justice and righteousness in our state. And we're asking that you do these simple things. First, we wanna ask you to preach about the biblical basis for Christian citizenship. We wanna ask you to register voters every Sunday in the month of October and inform your congregation about the, about the judicial retention election and what it means and the importance of turning that ballot over and voting their values. We also wanna ask you to distribute voter guides on October 31st and go to iowapastors.com where you can learn more and download the resources that will help you and your congregation to pray effectively and to vote righteously.